In this video, I will just demonstrate how to use a connect function in Qt5 to connect uh, different signals and slots in Qt Creator. Let's create a very simple GUI application. Let's call it my app. Before here, I would rather choose a very simple Q widget to concentrate on our topic and not deal with the taskbars, these things. Just make it looks much more clear and simple. So we have our project and we have this automatically created uh, widget. And this widget in the entry point uh, object will be created and the method show will be called to pump up the uh, widget window and in this widget we will set up this UI. This UI is another topic and there it's related to a head file which is created by this Qt creator and the information is come from this UI file when we drag drop some things this all this UI setup will be created by this Qt creator when once we compile it. So let's put some push button, checkbox, and by the way, this this file has you can add you can see the information here, but you can't edit this file can only edit in design mode, which is drag drop and you, you rename it my button, something like that. And edit format, you can see all the information. I just change the name like my this push button, I change this name. Uh, where is the name? Here is checkbox, my button is here. This is just example. All this information will be used by this Qt creator. When you compile it, there will be a head file created and that includes the information of this UI and this namespace is made, uh, made in that extra head file but will not include it in this project. So this is the information we need. So we put this button and checkbox and we will create a connection between them this one emit when you click this emit a signal and this signal should trigger this some functions of this depends which function you want to connect with the signal based on this uh, triggered signal okay and we have these two i want to make a very very simple uh, demonstration about the connections between these two widget okay my button and they have this name checkbox push button we will make this pick this default name we go here here and then we have a connect function this is a function and there's eight different implementation and we will use the most frequent use function i'm going to share here there's four parameters parameter one is the sender's address send object and this is a sender signal and the P3, parameter three is uh, the receiver. Let's see, uh, yeah. and uh, this is receiver object and this is a receiver slot. And they, let's say object one connect to object two, object one emitted signal one, not signal one, just a signal. And then the receiver is object two and object two will do based on the object one signal. What's, what the object do is based on the slot, which slot will be connected. So we connect, connect our uh, push button, yes, and we have our Q push button. You know what, I'm going to put this here so it will pump out by itself. Q push button. Q box like this save save this file too so make it everything much more easier and we have let's say clicked yeah. this is a signature of this is a logo for signal that means every this thing is automatically pump out with this is signal and this is a slot function we are going to use this signal from this button when we, it clicked, we are going to 
link to the checkbox and uh, this checkbox will be toggled this is like I said this is a slot logo like the slot and we connect and let's run see what's going to happen it's already five minutes gone Okay, press button, check. This is toggled. Of course I can do this, but it's nothing happened. I just mean these two are connected now. And what's more? Here is simply one signal connect to one slot. And I'm going to do one signal more slots to demonstrate it I'm going to take another one and this is checkbox 2 we are coming here and here it's going to do we are going to use this one too but I want to make it more easier to understand so I just uncomment which is repeat here and this is push button and this is second checkbox very understandable so one signal the same signal connected to different slot of two different object and let's run save all da -da 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 -da. and check out yes very beautiful and then there's like say one signal of course there is more signals to one slot in that case understandable I will make well copy here here on common and of course in this case we are going to make like uh, another button will be automatically push button two okay let's say we are going to use this two button to trick this one each button can trick the same checkbox so we have push button two both are connected to the checkbox one save all let's see da, da, da. checkbox yes it works and then what else? Let's say um, one signal, more slots, more signal, one slot. Um, there's more things like signal can trigger signal, and then this related signal can connect to a uh, slot. Actually, you can put more signals if you want between. And like I said, you can put between here because one signal you can connect more signal. So it can be make a net. It's very beautiful net if you want, based on your application. And here for demo, very simple example again. Going to let's say here on comment. Comment and I push button one I will connect this signal to this signal okay we have two push button object and their signal their click signal will connect to each other which is signal connect to signal and here actually I should call it method method can be signal and slot and in this case we have push button one and the clicked signal connect to push button two signal and then this push button two the same signal is triggered this, this uh, checkbox slot so let's see make it more beautiful it looks actually looks like this this is e more easy to understand I'll, this one triggers this one triggers this one okay and 
then let's copy this again blah, 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 and save all and we are going to see basically we click this button because we can see here downside uh, the push button one is not directly connected to the checkbox see it only click uh, connect to this one and but this one will be triggered and this one is connected to the checkbox the second function here so let's this one will check this and this one of course will do the same and what else and of course there is um i want to introduce another functions let's say we can use the uh, since c plus plus eleven we can use the lambda function which we can also use it here once you want to do something else like this and you can directly put the send and the signal and then directly the lambda function behind what we are going to do is directly put some let's say we are going to do multi things we're going to put directly here include you debug and Still, we are going to do something like let's say push button to or itself and save text. We're going to make this button like hmm. well, put something. Anyhow, something like that. So basically our button will change the name when I click it and something will print out. Okay, let's see how it looks like. And we have this application output. We have this and we, my button, and this is the message should print out and this is changed again because the name won't change that's that's it that's the simple connect functions i hope you get the point that this all these uh, different ways to use it and thanks for watching